In this video, we'll be using our knowledge of the normal distribution to answer a question in a word problem. So please take a moment to pause the video and read through the word problem. Once you've read through the word problem, we can see we're dealing with a population that has a mean of 48.5 pounds for Siberian Huskies. We have a standard deviation of 2.1 pounds. So we need to take this information and sketch it in a normal curve. So if I have a sketch of the normal curve here, what, I'm, what I have to do first is label my mean. My mean will be right at the center, so I'll need to place 48.5 at the center of my normal curve. What I'll then need to do is move out by values of the standard deviation. So this will kind of be my step choice, or kind of determines my scale. So if I'm going out by 2.1, I need to add 2.1 each time I move out one standard deviation on my diagram here. So if I add 2.1 to 48.5, I'll get 50.6. And if I add 2.1 to 50.6, 50 I'll get 52.7. If I go one step further, I'll get 54.8. I'll work backward in the same fashion. So if I subtract 2.1 from 48.5, I'll get 46.4. Here I'd have 44.3. And here I'd have 42.2. Along with that, I should label my percentages on my diagram. As this diagram isn't provided with assessments, it's important that you recall or remember these percentages. So the next part of the question then says, what percent of adult female dogs would you expect to have a weight between 46.4 pounds and 50.6 pounds? If I want to calculate that, I need to first locate those values on my sketch normal curve. So I can see 46.4 here, so this will be my starting point. And I need to go to 50.6, so I can see that's up here. So what I need to find out now is what percentage of data is located between A and B. So I would add the corresponding values in each column or in each section of my normal curve. So I have 34% there twice, which gives me a total of 68%. This question could be changed to ask you how far you would need from 44.3 to 52.7 or any other point along this label axis here on the bottom. Just be mindful that when you're doing that, you need to add the percentages located between the two values. So I had this example went from 44.3 to 50.6. I would have had to add 34, 34, and 13.5, not just the two that I used in this example. 